Ah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Plays and Fades, week four edition of the NFL season. Let's get right into week four with the quarterback that I like this week, Dak Prescott. Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys are at home, big favorite against the LA Rams. The last time we saw the LA Rams, they got smoked by Brian Hoyer and the San Francisco 49ers. I think Dak is a guy that's gonna go underlooked this week, and I like me some Dak Prescott. Next up is the running back that I like this week, Jaguars rookie sensation, Leonard Fournette. The Jaguars are a three point favorite on the road against the Jets. Now I know what you're thinking. They're coming over from London and did not take their bye week this week. And a game that I think the Jaguars should be playing with a lead, if you've been following Leonard Fournette this year, anytime they have a lead, that's when he's most productive. Next up, we're going to go to the wide receiver that I like this week. I'm going to give you two of them. Dez Bryant and DeAndre Hopkins. So let's get into Dez. I know I've been picking on Dez the last couple weeks. He's been on this side of the board many times. But can you blame me? He's had to go up against Janoris Jenkins, Patrick Peterson, and those Denver corners on the road. At this point in his career, Des Bryant, he can't get much separation, and he picks on weak corners. The LA Rams are not throwing out anybody elite. Pair him up with Dak Prescott and watch the points just rack up. The other wide receiver I like this week is DeAndre Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins leads the NFL in targets and has a floor of seven catches a game. In a site like DraftKings where PPR is one full point, He's a must play this week. The Texans are at home this week and they're playing the Tennessee Titans and they've gotten burned by number one receivers already this year. Last but not least in the play section, I'm gonna give you a defense, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now I know you might notice there's no tight end over here, but I'm tired of putting Zach Ertz's name on this side of the board. Zach Ertz, if you're out there, you've been killing it this year. I'd play you every week at this point. So no Zach Ertz, but play him anyway. Let's get into the defense, Jacksonville Jaguars. If you remember them week one, we were on the Jacksonville train. You're welcome. So this week, I'm looking to pair up the Jaguars with Leonard Fournette. And the logic behind that is if Leonard Fournette is running well, it means the defense is going to be off the field. That's a stack I like to do every now and then on DFS. And let's face it, the Jets, impressive win last week against the Dolphins, but they're not scaring anybody offensively. Fire up the Jaguars. Let's move on over to the fade section, and I'm going to give you three names right away because they all play for the same team. Derek Carr, Marshawn Lynch, and Amari Cooper. So much for lining them up straight. This isn't an overreaction to Sunday Night Football. This is just a bad matchup for the Raiders this week. All these guys are priced pretty high up in their respective positions and not against the Denver defense, especially in Denver. The only guy I'm even considering from the Oakland Raiders is Jared Cook. Tight end seems to be the only person that's productive against the Denver Broncos. If you remember the big game that Jason Witten had, and even Charles Clay found the end zone last week against Denver. And last but not least, the defense I'm fading this week, the Los Angeles Rams. I mean, if you see the pattern, it makes sense. If I have a quarterback and a wide receiver I really like, I'm not gonna take that defense. A lot of people might be fantasizing still about that week one performance where they scored two defensive touchdowns. I like the Dallas offensive players this week, so I'm fading that Rams defense. So there you have it, plays and fades for week four. Give a thumbs up on the video, and if you're into DFS or wanna learn more about DFS, I have a podcast, Degeneration Bets. It's in the description below. Check it out, and I'll see you guys next week.